Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and today we are going to proceed with the post lab activity of the experiment 3 for SK015 the title for that experiment is determination of the molar mass of a metal ok, on this week I am going to focusing on the data results the part A for that experiment on the calculation method for the concentration of ACL solution all of you can refer from the post lab activities of the experiment 2. So the part B is determination of the molar mass of a metal. So as we do have a metal M strip that we cut into a piece into the 35 mL of one molar HCl that we piped before. So this is the equation that involves the metal solid react with HCl and aqueous solution to form the MCL2 aqueous and hydrogen gas. So from this equation, it shows that all the metal strip completely dissolve into the HCl. So the HCl now become the excess of this region while the metal has a limiting returns. We are going to have a two strip of metal M as a sample one and sample two. Each of then give a different mass, for example, sample 1 give 0.0379 gram and sample 2 give 0.0355 gram. So this one will be an example of the data result that has been recorded. I use a KOH to replace the NOH. As we did before, we use the concentration of NAOH. However, the concentration is remain 1.0 molar. The volume of HCl that we use is 25 mL into our conical plus. So this is the sample 1 and sample 2 reading. The initial 1 reading, I start with 1 mL and the final reading is 22.7. So it makes the volume of KOH used is about 21.7 mL. While for the sample 2, the initial reading is 0, 0.00 and the final reading is 21.30. So the volume of KOH used is 21.3 milliliter. Now, we proceed with the calculation for this experiment. There are several steps that I use to calculate uh, the molarity and the molar mass of, for this experiment. Step number one, write the balance equation for the reaction between the KOH and HCl. HCl from our experiment become the unrelated which means that SEL is the excess one that remain. So this is the equation that involves. Step number two, okay, we need to calculate the number of moles of KOH. Number of moles of KOH comes from the formula N equal to MV per thousand. So the molarity of the KOH is one molar. The volume of Burek reading that we use in this experiment is 21.7 meter divided by 1000. So make it the number of mole is 0 0.02170 mole of KOH. In step number 3, we are going to calculate the number of mole of unreacted HCM. How it be done? Okay, 21.7 meter 1 molar KOH give you 0 0.0217 mole of KOH. So based from the equation that relates between the KOH and HCl, so this is the equation. We can see now the leftover is unrated HCl as the excess written. So here, 1 mole of KOH is equivalent to 1 mole of unreated HCl. So if you do have 0 0.0217 mole of KOH, so 0 0.0217 times 1 divided by 1. So the number of unrated HCl is also 0 0.0217 mole. In step number 4, to calculate the number of mole for the reacted metal of M. So this is the equation that involves metal M with HCl. Metal M as a solid react with HCl equals to form the MCL2 equals and H2 gas. Then, 
calculate the number of mole of HCl used from the part A. For example, number of mole HCl as an initial HCl is 0.99 molar that we obtain from part A times 25 mil that we use a piper for the HCl divided by 1000. So we get 0.02475 mol. Second, we calculate the number of mole of HCl related with metal M. How? Get the differences between the number of HCl as an initial with the different mole of HCl unreacted. So here is the number of HCl that reacted 3.05 exponential negative 3 mole. So from this equation, we get clear that 2 mole of HCl reactor is equivalent to 1 mole of metal M. So if we do have 3.05 exponential 3 mole of HCl times 1 divided by 2, so the number of mole metal M is 1.525 exponential negative 3. This, we are going to obtain the molar mass of metal M. So molar mass formula is molar mass equal to mass over mole of metal M. Since sample, one of the sample that we obtain is 0.0379 gram, so divide by the number of mole, 1.525 exponential negative 3 mole, so the molar mass answer is 24.85 gram per mole. So repeat the calculation from step 3 and step 4 for the sample number 2. Calculate the average molar mass of a metal for sample 1 and sample 2. When you obtain the molar mass, we can divide by into 2 to get the average molar mass of metal M. So this is we are going to use to find the actual element of metal M in periodic table based on the calculated molar mass. Thank you. Till we meet again in the next post lab. See you. Bye.